Hey, announcer guy here for Sean and Kevin, world travelers who occasionally go to places you haven't been. In this episode, the boys are in a faraway land. So settle in and welcome to Travel by Numbers. Hey guys, we just found this really cool oasis. This is for uh, this is for adults only, 18 years of age and older. Um, so it's right on the path to your resort. This is the quiet section of this resort. Uh, the pool's not very deep. Uh, it's quieter. But behind me, you have shuffleboard, and on my left, you have the mini golf. So lots of things to do. We want to go to Shirley Heights, we want to go to the dockyards, and that's all around English Harbor. It's kind of my vibe, I don't like a whole lot of people around, so this is really quite perfect for me. Okay, so here we go, under the waterfall. It's about 10.45 in the morning, um, it's, it's a blue sky, it looks like a really nice day. Um, so this little bar, this little area has obviously the pool, but also it has a nice little bar area, clean towels, uh, and there's a little bathroom off the side from the bar. Um, and there's one, two, three sitting areas. If you want to sit for lunch, um, and actually you can get uh, free Wi-Fi here. Now there is Wi-Fi on the resort, um, only in certain areas. I think near guest services, near the coffee and tea lounge, beside the bar um, and the reception area. But if you want Wi-Fi in your room, we asked it was. For a week, it was $41.99 USD for like for the week. Um, our thoughts, uh, our thoughts were on that. The Wi-Fi should have been kind of included in each hotel room. That's just our opinion. I was Kevin was telling me to stop talking. This military complex, within a short distance of the dockyard, is not named after the fairer sex, but rather after Sir Thomas Shirley, governor of the Leeward Islands, who strengthened Antigua's defenses in 1781. Britain had lost all her West Indian colonies, including North America, at this time, except Antigua and Barbados. Much effort, therefore, was put into Antigua's defenses, mainly because of the island's significant sugar-producing value and the importance of the dockyard. The blockhouse, part of Shirley Heights, is the easternmost part of the military complex, with a magnificent view looking over the southeast coast. 
it was designed as a place of last refuge, which is indeed the meaning of the word. The arches of three officers' quarters were destroyed by various hurricanes due to a lack of funds to preventatively shore up the walls. They now need to be rebuilt with the saved original masonry. A moat opposing the vertical cliffs was originally planned, but was never started. The officers' quarters is in ruin, as are the outbuildings, servants' quarters, married quarters, and stables. There is a fine powder magazine, cistern, and cashment that have received some restoration work. No ammunition. No. So we store all their thick little walls for thickness. The so cannonballs and rifles and wow. In fact, the complex is mainly in ruin except the lookout that has been reutilized as a restaurant. Unfortunately, even though a CFTC historical architect drew restoration plans, the building was reconstructed as a for-profit investment with the use of dormers and the battlement built on where another section further north had been designated. The site is still a good tourist attraction, mainly because of two of the best views of the Atlantic and English Harbour to be had on the island. We're here at uh, Nelson's Dockyard in the southeast portion of Antigua. Uh, this bay here has been a hurricane haven since the late 1600s, uh, but it became a dockyard's proper in 1725. Uh, it costs $8 US to get in here, but it also gets you up to Shirley Heights, which we've already shown you uh, videos and photos of. Uh, there's a few restaurants here, um, as well as a grocery store and uh, probably a lot of the boaters, uh, yachting types that, that moor here, um, use that to get supplies. So highly encourage you to visit Shirley Heights and the Nelson Dockyards, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, uh, when you come here to Antigua.
on the site here, there's a couple of restaurants. There's actually a grocery store just behind me. Um, today is not very busy, but it does get busy in the month of December where all the mega yachts come in to use the slips. So it's really fascinating. So I would encourage anybody who is in Antigua, take a day trip here for a couple of hours. It's only $8 to get in. Uh, and actually, if you can get here on a day where the cruise ships are not in, uh, you'll find it quite peaceful here. So just right here, this is the copper and lumber store. Um, now, it's a really good example of Georgian architect. No? <laughs> Okay. Architecture. That's right. So over here is the officer's quarters, but it's also the... Oh yeah, this is the wrong building. This isn't, this isn't the one I was talking about. This is the um, <laughs> officer's quarters. So it's a good example of Georgian architecture. Just behind me is the Naval and um, Admiral's office house here behind me. This house was the last to be built in the complex here at the dockyards. Um, a fact is that no Admiral ever lived in this house. Okay, we just found this really awesome spot. It's um, the Pillars restaurant, so it's right in the Nelson's uh, dockyard here and so they have a sister restaurant which is across the um, the water here it's called the boom restaurant and spa so they'll take you over in a dinghy if you want to either check out the property or have or have lunch or dinner so we're gonna have two of the local beers it's called what's the, what's the beer called I think it's with with Diddley or with Dudley okay like so we're gonna um, have two of those just as a bit of a break um, so we hired a local taxi driver named Curtis he's very good he's taking us all, to all the uh, typical tourist spot um, but he'll certainly do a la carte excursions if needed um, and we'll put his information um, just below here so um, when you're in Antigua look him up so I did some research on Eric Clapton's estate here in Antigua. So it's 14,000 square feet and you can actually rent it out. Um, it sits on a 45 acre complex but it's pretty rugged. If you've been enjoying our Antigua series then why not have a look at our Turks and Caicos series. We've been there seven times and there's a lot of great information. Link's just over my left shoulder.
If you enjoyed today's episode, please click the like button. And by subscribing and turning notifications on, you'll help us create new content. Thanks for watching. And remember, experiences, not things.